real proud of our guys. Um, you know, we we uh, we were in a very good mood when we got on that plane after Auburn, and uh, and our practice yesterday was uh, challenging. I guess is the word I can use here, and uh, um, and real proud of our kids. We we I, I I shouldn't say I my staff does an unbelievable job of keeping our kids even keeled. I've been pushing these kids real hard. Uh, so they can understand what it takes to win against quality teams and we've been fighting and we've been in this moment numerous times this year and just have not been able to, uh, to, to close it out you know but real proud of their resolve I, so proud of Sundari Stonewall I can't tell you how proud I am of that kid um, you know number one like I said before for, for having the courage it would have been easy to go to another school he had the courage to come here and help me build this. And uh, um, and then to have the courage to continue to lead on a team where he is the leader as an 18-year-old kid. That uh, says a lot about who he is and how important uh, our team is to him. Uh, but real proud of our kids. The, the, I, I, like I told, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote what I told them um, after the game. I said, I was extremely disappointed in our approach when practice started yesterday. Well, I was equally proud for our resolve and our fight today. What did you tell them in those final timeouts, especially when Kentucky cut it to one? Was it strategy or was it just, you know, don't give up and stay in the moment? We, we did everything we could to, to screw it up, I promise you that. We, we, I'm not going to start singling kids out. You guys, I hope you know me, but no, I don't do that. But we made a lot of mistakes in those last 30 seconds of the game. And and we, we, we didn't do what we asked to do, uh, but that's okay. That's what happens when you deal with young kids. And um, the important thing is that, that we figured out a way to close it out. And, um, you know, we, we got manhandled on the glass in the first half. And I told them at halftime, I said, if you guys need me to teach you how to be a man, I can do that in life. I can't teach you how to bow up and stand up to somebody in the middle of a game. And uh, our kids did that the second half. Second half, we, we fought. We fought back on the glass. We didn't continue to get pushed out of the way. We fought back and uh, proud to see that. But, well, our game today and our game on Tuesday have been the two most dominant programs in the SEC for how many years now? That's who we need to compete with to become the program that we're working to be. Uh, and that's not a disrespect to the other 13 teams in the league. That's just who sits at the top of this league year in and year out, Kentucky and Florida. And, and it's a great opportunity for our program to, to understand our players, our fans. How about our fans, by the way? Our student section. I did not see a single blue shirt anywhere near the court. That is awesome. Our student section, our, our marketing people, uh, how hard they've worked to help us build this program, our students. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate. I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but you got my brain working here, and I'm exhausted. I'm, I haven't been able to think real good. I'm fortunate. I've worked at a place in Cincinnati. I'm going to coach Bob Huggins. He said, Frank, every night, 13176. That was the attendance number Cincinnati every single night we played. I leave there, I go to K-State. Every night was 12578. You know, and now we're building it here. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I didn't feel it today. I've been feeling it since the old Miss game. Our crowd's coming. I, I don't. I, I know what happens at football games. Obviously, we know what happened for Don Staley the other night. Unfortunately, I couldn't be here. Got to do this thing called recruiting that kind of got in the way. Um, and I know what happens for Coach Tanner and Chad down the road here. If we do our jobs, we're going to have the best fans in the country in men's basketball. I know it. I feel it. It's coming. Um, uh, but our, our, our student section was phenomenal. Every once in a while, I, I rarely listen to noise. As a coach, when you go out on the sideline, it, it, people can be like blowing stuff up, and we really don't. We're so zoned in on our stuff, we don't really know what's going on up there. But there were a couple times during the game that I started hearing cheering, but we weren't playing well. And I said, what the heck's this all about? But all of a sudden, that noise would disappear because I heard a roar from our people. And by, I'm not real smart, but by the end of the game, I figured out that our fans were not going to allow Kentucky to take over our arena. And that, that, was, that was fun to be a part of that.